you ever needed an excuse to eat pasta for breakfast? Well, today is your day. We're taking the, the basic pasta carbonara recipe that we've made before, but we're adding to it. We're doing a better than version because we want to, because we can, and because pasta is good lunch or dinner, but it's fantastic at breakfast. There's gonna be eggs and bacon and, and mushrooms and onions and, and all manner of deliciousness. Oh, and hash browns too. They're all gonna work their way in. Who's excited? Me. I am. Who Chance. Said, who Max. Said, who said you can't have pasta for breakfast? You can have Look, we're all adults. We're not like six. You have to have breakfast things. Make what you want. Who gives a shit? Then have eggs for dinner if you want. Doesn't matter. Let's think about this. Um, we have to start uh, by uh, cooking some bacon in our pan. So let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And in goes our pound of bacon. It's a lot of bacon. We might not use it all, but right now, I love the idea that it's all in here. So break it up as best we can. Maybe switch to a better, sturdier spoon. This was in my freezer about a half an hour. It just makes cutting bacon so much easier. And while it's sticking together right now, as it warms, that will stop and it will break up. All right, so this is gonna take a bit and I can turn around and stir it. But while this is getting there, let's cut up some mushrooms and onions. These are our mushrooms. And you can see they're uh, cremini baby portobellos, essentially. But you see this, this is dirt. And there's two ways you could get the dirt off on a mushroom. One is washing it, and that's a terrible mistake because they're basically like little sponges. The proper way is you just take a paper towel and you brush it off, and you're gonna be fine. So we'll just make sure our mushrooms are fine, clean, get the dirt off. I think the rest are mostly good. And then we're gonna take these stems out like this, just pop them out, save them for something if you want. And then we're just gonna cut them up and continue. I shan't use all of these. I shall use a number that I will determine at the moment that makes the most sense. And there's no reason to do that other than to show off. Knife skills. And you see they do come apart. I'm cutting properly. So, one more and we'll call it a day. Push these over here. And now some onion. I have a half of a yellow onion here that I'm just gonna cut this way. We're good. These will go with the bacon at the right time, but next up are the hash browns. We begin, of course, with some avocado oil on the flat top. And then I'm using these, some already shredded potatoes you just buy. So a couple big handfuls here. We'll spread them out. And we want to cook these individually. And what I mean by that is not as a giant like hash brown cake. We're gonna to want to crumble these in to the pasta when we get there. So make sure everybody's got a little oil on them and then just spread them out. And we'll come back to these guys as they start to brown. And here we are, looking lovely. Now's the time we will add, wait for it, both our unconventional mushrooms and definitely our unconventional onions. And these will mix in. Lovely. Damn, is this going to be good. So this now just needs a couple minutes by itself. The mushrooms, the onions, while the bacon finishes. Let's head back to our hash browns. And we're getting there. They're nice, but they're not anywhere near where they need to be. I'm talking about crisp, I'm talking about texture. I'm talking about a little crunch when you take a bite of this pasta. We'll monitor the bacon. 
the mushrooms and the onions, but now we can start our egg prep. Okay, before the egg action, let's just check the hash browns and look at them. Beautiful, and wait, listen. Crispy, that's what we want. We'll give them like 45 more seconds. I mean a minute and a half, and then they're coming off. And now off they come. And I'm gonna put them on a baking sheet because if I put them in a bowl and they stack on each other, they'll steam and lose their crunch. And I don't want that. So like this, spread them out, put them off to the side. Okay. Before our cheese that I keep trying to get to is now time for the pasta. So into heavily salted boiling water, we're gonna add about a half a pound. Hello guys, everybody in. Take our tongs, we'll bring them down. We'll put the lid back on. We'll check in about uh, seven minutes. Today's episode is sponsored by Theragun. You're gonna like it. So check this out. We get reached out to by companies fairly often asking if we will talk about their products on air. Everybody understands that, that happens. So we're standing here one day before shoot and I say out loud, Hey boys, we got reached out by a company called Theragun. I don't really know anything about them. And Chance says... It's life-changing. It's life-changing. No BS. The words out of the kid's mouth. It's life-changing. I go, oh, well, maybe we should take a look at it. So we get on the phone. We have a conversation. Clearly, they hear a little skepticism in my voice. And they go, tell you what, let us send you one. You use it. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, that's great too. It gets delivered. I start using it. It's life changing. Chance was right. Look, for a living, I do this, the YouTube, but I'm also in the restaurant. And if you know anything about the restaurant business, you're on your feet. It's not easy. It's hot. It's sweaty. You go home. You feel like you just need to be worked. It's not like you can just go out and get a massage these days. Certainly not in the current environment. That's where the Theragun comes in. Okay, so here it is, and it's beautiful, but clearly it's not about looks, it's about whether it works, because muscle pain and muscle tension are a legitimate real thing. So, up it comes, and you turn it on right here. It starts out at 2400 RPMs, and can be brought down to 1750. There, it's simple. What makes this genius is the way that the handles are constructed, it lets you get to all parts of your body all by yourself. Doesn't have to be used by a second person. Though clearly it's not a bad idea, but you want to handle this yourself, you got it yourself. Let me show you why it's amazing. Maxi, bring in the Theragun. This is called percussive therapy. And it's what, oh. and it's what releases the deepest muscle tension that you have. And it does it through a combination of speed depth and power up 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 here up here and by the way it's about as quiet as an electronic toothbrush oh over the back okay <laughs> stop it stop it stop it that's because the all new gen 4 theragun has a proprietary brushless motor I don't even know what that means, but it's so quiet you will wonder if it's even on while you soothe your aching muscles with Theragun's signature power, amplitude, that's a good word, and effectiveness. So here's my move. I come home from work, cooking, I turn it on, and then it's me and the Theragun and we're one. Look, of course, Max can do it for me, Kelly can do it for me. But it, the way it's designed, it lets you get where you want. And for me, that's really important with my legs because cooking is an all day standing up thing, folks. And this is unbelievable. I better stop before my eyes roll back into my head. And check this out, there's even a mini Theragun. It's perfect for travel. Try Theragun risk-free for 30 days. Look, there's no substitute for the Theragun Gen 4 with an OLED screen, personalized Theragun app, and the quiet and power you need. And it's starting at only $199. Go to theragun.com Sam right now to get your Gen 4 Theragun today.
That's theragun.com slash Sam, theragun.com slash Sam. Now it's time for the egg cheese part, which I love. Three eggs will go into this bowl. Please try not to put the shells in. Look at that. Timing could not have been better. And by the way, it's always easier to get shell out of egg like this with another shell. They just want to stick to each other. And in we go. These guys will give a light beat too. And then in comes our cheese. And I'm using a beautiful piece of Pecorino Romano. I want about uh, four ounces of this. So I'm just going to start micro plane zesting away, which is this guy, until I've done most of this wedge in my hand. Look, you could easily buy pre-grated Pecorino Romano or Parmesan if you don't want the Pecorino. That's a little stronger, but it is so much better. When you grate it yourself, it's fresh, it's not been in a bag, it's in a warehouse forever. So just get going and enjoy. All right, when you've got most of your cheese in, a couple other things quickly. Max, are we adding salt? No. We are not because? The cheese? Cheese is salty. But a bunch of pepper because we really like this. And now we mix like this. Get this mixed beautifully. And when it's all together, we're gonna add one more little secret, and that is a couple spoonfuls of sour cream, just to make this even better and more luxurious. We're good. Now we're just waiting for the pasta to finish. We want to add one extra egg yolk on top for super richness right at the end. So we're going to separate it from the white in this, like this move. We take our egg, we crack it, we get one side off. Oh, this couldn't have gone worse. Jeez Louise. Not what I wanted. And then I'm going to use my hand. I just popped it in there and it broke. So. Let's move on to number two. Crack, separate, egg in the hand. It's great, all the white falls away. Pull off any excess nonsense. And then in a little bowl, and it broke. Fuck again. Really? Yep. I've never had so much trouble breaking a fing egg in my life. Last time, third time's the charm, and here we go. I'm not doing that this way. Now I'm going old school. And I will just transfer the yolk back and forth between the shells and set it down. And that one broke. Piece of shit. That's, what number was that? I only got three fucking eggs left, man. And those eggs won't go to waste. We'll make those into scrambled eggs or something. Don't you have a separator thing? There we go. There's my egg yolk. Finally. Only took me, what, five tries? It's off waiting. Now here we go. This is the building part, but it's important, so pay attention. We've got the, the bacon, the onion, the mushroom in a little bit of grease in the pan. Perfect. We're gonna take this hot pasta, put it in the pan and mix it, and then the egg with the Pecorino Romano and the sour cream will go in. The second it goes in, we don't want scrambled eggs, we want sauce. So we're gonna use our tongs and mix and mix and mix and keep mixing until it's glorious. If it's a little bit thicker than we want, we're gonna use some of the pasta water that the pasta cooked in. And we use that water because it has the starch of the pasta and will add flavor and not just water the whole thing down. So if you're ready and these boys are ready, I'm ready. Let's hit it. Can but I wait, have a minute? are you ready? We're good. They're ready. Let's hit it. And here we go. Look, it's perfect. The bacon crispy, the onion soft, the mushroom soft. And now we'll just bring this over and we'll add our pasta right into it. And with it will come some of the pasta water and that's just fine. One more and everybody's out. 
Give this a quick mix. We're doing this off the heat because there's enough heat in the pan and in the pasta. We don't want to put the egg mixture in now on heat because it'll actually start to cook it the way we don't want. So in we go. Like this. And now we mix. And you can see it's thickening and becoming, oh God, thicky, thick and sauce-like. Beautiful bacon that's gonna add nice texture, nice crunch, as is. Wait for it, you ready? Our crispy hash brown. This is a proper breakfast, ladies and gentlemen. Just serve pasta style. And I'm certainly making a mess, but, oh, the smell from here is amazing. I'm gonna add just a touch of the pasta water to thin it a bit, Maybe three tablespoons. All right, a little bit of parsley. And now let's plate. So I'll clean that off quickly, and put a bowl down. And up we come and in we go, oops. Pretty. Watch, make a little receptacle right there. And in goes our egg yolk. Like that, it started to break and that's okay because what we're gonna do right now with a little more pepper and a tiny bit more parsley is to now mix this in. So this now cooks for this extra gorgeous richness of the egg yolk. And now that I've made a mess, but now look at this. Oh, mamma mia. Now we take ourselves a bite. A nice big loop around. Shall we eat? Yes. Yes, we shall. The cheese. Cheese first in a very big way. Mm. Mushroom, onion, the glorious pecorino. It's breakfast with pasta? The sour cream adds a little kick. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be eating in front of you, but it's so good. Mm. All right. Breakfast for pasta, 1,000%. Pasta for breakfast. Pasta for breakfast, what did I say? Breakfast for pasta. Pasta for breakfast, 1,000% you should do this. Oh my God, it's so good. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Hey, and thank you Theragun for sponsoring this episode. After all this hot cooking out here, you're exactly what I need. See everybody.